everyone, Amy here. This is another one of my manuscript Mondays, which are kind of like a behind the scenes look at the story I'm currently writing. This one is for Would It Be Okay to Love You, which is my romance series. Just to kind of give you guys contextual information, I'm still working on uh, my thriller series, kind of while I'm writing this one. And this week I hoped, or last week I hoped to finish like chapter one. I did, but I didn't do a good job. <laughs> like. Oh, it's really difficult coming from like my mob guys uh, they don't they really try to get their emotions and kind of trap them inside themselves and the romance guys obviously can't so I really worked hard on Sato and uh, for chapter one trying to make them very socially awkward and I think I successfully did that and then I got Aoi and he is a bit more flirty uh, than he is in this because remember this is how they first met so I have to take what I know of them and do it before because the books I have out now with them they're already in a relationship and this is the how they met so I have to like pre-character arc them like this is their arc here I have to be like what was your arc before like a few months ago guys. You know Sato is like extremely especially awkward and can't like talk to Aoi at all and is just fumbling over his own words so I think I really got that down and then Aoi is very like flirty, very kind of play, playboy kind of guy, <laughs> which is just hilarious to say because I, like I said, I know them when they're like together in like super serious relationship mode thing. So, um, but I really, I was really excited to write Floth compared to like mob guys, to me they're, they were like hard and I had to be like, ah, oh, this has to be perfect. I feel like with the romance I can just like go and do that. I didn't do, I did a good half of chapter one and I really had to focus on the second half. I also had to focus on getting more uh, chemistry between them. I don't think I did such a good job with it with this draft so I have to go back and I'm gonna fix it and then hopefully later on this week I'm gonna also fix chapter two which deals just with Aoi going to New Year's party, uh, the orphan's New Year's party that his friend Jin puts on and it's very flirty and sexy and all kinds of things that I'm not used to writing with my Yakuza guys. <laughs> I guess I'm really trying to fix their personalities and get the chemistry thing going because I have not written them in a while. So that was it. Keep on staying tuned. Subscribe to this channel that way you do not forget to have any of these updates to see where this book is going. So then until next time, bye bye.